That was from a guy called Pharaoh Rass, and I am on a server right now because there's been a major update on the server that allows for this sort of thing that you're looking at, and that is armor stand manipulation using mathematical functions. Now this is only one plot of many that I'll be sharing with you today, and this is Sphere by Luke Cashwell. I will explain what this server is all about in just a sec, but it's sort of this display of mathematics that I want to share with you that is greatly simplified by the mechanics on this server. So I'm going to generate the sphere again, and you can see how this is all being processed. So there is a single armor stand that is rotating around the origin of the sphere, and it's running the same equation over and over again for every position that the armor stand is placed. So it's obviously making circles because of the nature of circular functions. Um, it's going to be curved in nature, and it's going to keep rounding and rounding and rounding and doing multiple cycles. So that is, of course, going to create a circle. Now you can actually ignore the colors that are being placed into the helmet slots of the armor stand. Of course, it's a leather helmet, so you don't have to worry too much about that. That's a completely different thing. Um, I think that's just using the RGB model, and the equation for that is obviously completely different, and I don't think it's related to the circular functions. I may be wrong. It actually may have some relation. And after all of that is done, it's going to do an amazing flamboyant display with the sphere expanding and contracting and this is only one thing that I'm going to demonstrate with you. So if you don't know what Diamond Fire is, it is a server that allows you to program your own games on plots like this. And uh, it allows you to use code in the traditional sense. So not with command blocks, but with event triggers and functions. And it gives you a larger array of possibilities. And here's a command that is going to be used to trigger the function. So it's going to call the function from this command, which is this function here, which is generate sphere. And of course, with some debugging, that's just generating sphere just to make sure the code works. But it's going to set variables and then apply equations with the variables. The possibilities are endless here because what you have to do to create code, essentially you place a block down uh, and then you right click the sign to tell the game to do something. And so while Minecraft in contrast does have a lot of commands, it's not sometimes very easy for people to get into it. So this is one way you can learn how to program your own games using preset functionalities that are pretty easy to access. I'm going to generate a sphere here. This is by Sanders, and I think he's right behind me. He's been very helpful over the last two weeks. So here is another sphere that is a little more simplistic than the other one uh, that I showed you, but this is on the main server where things are less experimental, so we shouldn't really breach certain conditions. So um, this is a sphere that is using wool blocks, and if you follow these instructions here, it actually allows me to change uh, the radius and the block composition and animation speed. So this is now spinning the other way. I can actually make it go the other way like this. Um, very cool. Uh, I can also change the radius. I don't know why it says 70. That is clearly not 70. That's a smaller sphere. I can invert the sphere if I want to. Now it looks like a circus tent. Um, I can also change the blocks as well. So Here's chest, of course something that a lot of you are still very excited about. <laughs> Dragon head, it's using the same structure as the inverted sphere, yet uh, I think it looks kind of nice. It doesn't have the same shape, but it uses the same structure. Debug stick looks pretty cool. You can see the rotation of the armor stand, so it's not just uh, the sphere itself. It's also the rotation of the armor stand that creates the sphere shape. I, okay, so I haven't looked at every item because there are so many. Yeah, negative one obviously does that. Ah, uh, looks better when it's not like that. Actually, this looks really classy. I do like this look. So, you know, you can play around with this a lot. I'm just trying to showcase how brilliant uh, when mathematics is applied to the game, things can behave. And you may not be able to familiarize yourself with these unless you do apply circular functions. Okay, so someone's dealing with it right now. I've looked at Trident. <laughs> Diamond Fire does allow for the application of circular functions in a very simple way, very efficient way, because it's inbuilt into the coding system. You don't have that available in vanilla Minecraft, so that's why I'm on this to share these things with you. Black Bed is also very nice. And so there you go. Ah, Banner. So you can see the gradient for this. He's doing it for me now. Star Spangled Banner. Is that what you want me to say, Sanders? But uh, very nice to look at. Again, I've kind of exhausted all the descriptions here, but he's dealing with it, uh, trying to show you the, all the shapes that are possible with this mechanic here. And this is Eyes by Samman. And basically what it's doing is using the player as the amplitude, I guess, and running, once again, circular functions to get the eyes to approach you wherever you are. So it's kind of trippy to look at. Um, 
not really easy to showcase in a video, but it, you have to be on the plot to feel it for yourselves, because this is really surreal. Um, uh, so you can see that the closer the creeper eyes are, they become red, and you can fly and kind of manipulate the plane with the player. So the positioning of the equation is dependent on the player's position. So I can't really tell you how to do it, because I don't know if I have dev permissions here, but um, you can kind of think about it. But the bottom line is, once again, it's easier to do this on Diamond Fire than Vanilla Minecraft. I'm not trying to talk down Vanilla Minecraft here, because I think Vanilla Minecraft is the best. Uh, it's just that it's easier to run uh, trigonometry on this server, because it's just simplified. So very cool. Eyes by Sandman. You can check it out. So this is Waves by Redstone Daedalus. And this is, a, I guess, a simpler representation of it. Um, it's essentially one position running one function and then it's spreading periodically to each one or each adjacent entity or each adjacent armor stand. Uh, in Villain Minecraft you can also run the same thing, although it might be also very laggy. This is not that laggy. I believe it was before, but I actually don't know where it's coming from. It seems like it's not really entirely random. Uh, it might be, I don't know. I haven't checked the code in great detail for that one. So here's something that you might be familiar with. This is a cube that is displaying different colors on the RGB spectrum. Now, this is not to do with spheres or anything. This is just something to look at. <laughs> um, this is something that I tried to do in a live stream too. Um, basically, this is a replica of it. And it's doing a uh, an animation of colors along each axis that I have no idea how they did this. I was able to create the uh, the color cube, but I wasn't able to truly animate the colors here, but this is just um, something that Sanders did as well. I can actually toggle the colors just by going through it. So if I stand over here, you can see now we have like a little bit of a, a haze over here. Once again, the power of mathematics. If you don't learn maths, I guess you will never be able to truly understand this. Anyway, one more thing I want to share with you. So I'm going to finish up the video here. This is a solar system. I think someone's here. Yeah, Sanders. Uh, this is a solar system by Ferraras, including Pluto, by the way. Pluto's not being left out here, but you can click on the planet to display the, um, the proper information. And I think Earth has the, the moon orbiting, but apparently, and I asked this before, Every single one is modeled to scale. On Diamond Fire, you can do these things. So if you're willing to try out, you can jump on this server. I think it might be a sizable task for some of you, but if you're not willing to learn commands in Minecraft vanilla, which is not likely to change in the future, you can always come here to create really cool things that you can show off because this is very impressive stuff. It's actually really relaxing to just sit here and look at the solar system while Earth orbits the sun. Jump on this server, Diamond Fire, all the information will be in the description of this video. And I might come here every now and then during live streams, which I've done before. I don't know if that's really acceptable now. Otherwise, leave a like, subscribe for more creative content. Take care.